டியர் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் ஐம் டாக்டர் கே கண்ணன் ப்ரொஃபஸர் மெக்கானிக்கல் இன்ஜினியரிங் அஞ்சலையம்பாள் மகாலிங்கம் இன்ஜினியரிங் காலேஜ் கோயில் வண்ணி ஐ எம் ஹாப்பி டு மீட் யூ அகைன் இன் தி வீடியோ லெக்சர் த டாபிக் இஸ் ரெஃப்ரிஜிரேஷன் ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் பார்ட் ஃபைவ் ஸோ இந்த ஏர்லி இயர் லெக்சர்ஸ் வி சால்வ் ப்ராப்ளம் இன் ஃபோர் வீடியோ லெக்சர்ஸ் திஸ் இஸ் தி ஃபிஃப்த் பார்ட் ஆஃப் தி ரெஃப்ரிஜிரேஷன் ப்ராப்ளம் வி டேக் ஃபியூ கொஸ்டின்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் தி அண்ணா யூனிவர்சிட்டி கொஸ்டின் பேப்பர் இன் ரீசன்ட் கொஸ்டின் பேப்பர் அண்ட் சால்வ் தி ப்ராப்ளம் The first question, example number 16 from November 2014 question paper. A refrigerant system operates with a condensing and evaporate temperature of 30 degrees Celsius and minus 5 degrees Celsius respectively. The liquid temperature at the throttle valve entrance is 25 degrees Celsius and the vapor is 0.97 dry before leaving the evaporator coil. Determine the condition of refrigerant entering the evaporator, COP and the mass of cooling water used per kg of refrigerant for the condenser. If the temperature rise is restricted to 20 degrees Celsius and these are all the properties of the refrigerant at two different temperatures, minus 5 degrees Celsius and 30 degree Celsius. The enthalpy, specific heat and entropy are given in appropriate unit. So this is the thermodynamic cycle. So the temperature T3 equal to T4 dash, which is the condenser temperature, 30 degree Celsius, which is 303 Kelvin. T4 is the temperature at the end of condensation or before the expansion 25 degree celsius there is undercooling from 4 dash to 4 then t1 equal to t2 dash t2 that is uh, evaporator temperature it is minus 5 degree celsius and the x2 dryness fraction at this point entry of the compressor or exit of the evaporator is 0 0.97 the specific enthalpy after compression 3 h3 equal to hg3 it is saturated vapor point hg3 so at the 30 degree celsius hg value is 1465.38 kJ per kg the specific enthalpy before compression so h2 h2 equal to it is wet to vapor hf2 plus x2 into hg2 minus hf2 substitute in numerical values 158.261 plus 0.97 into 1434.885 minus 158.261 calculating H2 equal to 1396.59 kJ per kg. And the specific enthalpy after subcooling. So H1 equal to H4 equal to H4 dash. H of, H of, H of 4 dash. H4 dash is the, the enthalpy before expansion, which is H4, H4 dash, which is saturated liquid minus CPL, specific heat of the liquid into T4 dash minus T4. So the second part, CPL into T4 dash minus T4 is the enthalpy decrease due to the subcooling or undercooling. So H1 equal to H4 equal to 323.2, HF4 equal to 323.2 minus 5.024 into 30 minus 25 equal to 298.08 kJ per kilogram. The coefficient of performance, COP equal to H2 minus H1 divided by H3 minus H2, substituting 1396.59 minus 298.08 divided by 1465.38 minus 1396.59 equal to 15.97. The condition of refrigerant after expansion, so H1, so here the condition, H4 equal to H1, enthalpy is constant for the expansion process. H4 value we have, H4 equal to 298.08. H1 is, it is wet to vapor, HF1 plus X1 into HG1 minus HF1. So, substituting 298.08 equal to 158.261 plus X1 into 1434.885 minus 158.261. So, solving this equation, X1 equal to 10.9. 10.9 means, sorry, 0.109, that means 10.9 percentage of, so percentage of vapor. So here at this point 1, it is 10.9 percentage of vapor and here at the point 2, it is 97 percent vapor. It is, here the dryness fraction is 0.97. Then the mass of cooling water in the condenser, QR equal to H3 minus H4, which is equal to M CPL into delta T. So, M is the mass of the cooling water, CPL is the specific heat of the cooling water, delta T is the temperature difference. So, 1465.38 minus 298.08 into equal to M into 4.187. So, specific heat of water is 4.187 into delta T is the 20 degree Celsius. So, solving this equation, M equal to 13.94 kilogram per kilogram of refrigerant. So, mass of the cooling water circulated in the condenser 
is 13.94 kilogram per kilogram of refrigerant. So, the answer to the question <coughs> COP equal to 15.97, condition of vapor after expansion is 10.9 percentage of vapor and 89.1 percentage of liquid, mass of the coolant equal to 13.94 kg per kg of refrigerant. Next question, example number 17 from November 2019 question paper. A food storage locker requires a refrigeration system of 2400 kilojoules per minute capacity at an evaporate temperature of 263 Kelvin and condensed temperature of 303 Kelvin. The refrigerant is subcooled by 6 degrees Celsius before enter in the expansion valve and the vapor is superheated by 7 degrees Celsius before leaving the evaporator coil. The compression of the refrigerant is reversible adiabatic. The refrigeration compressor is two cylinder single acting with a stoke equal to 1.25 times of the bore and operates at 1000 rpm. The following table gives the properties of the refrigerant. Take the liquid specific heat is 1.235 kJ per kilogram Kelvin and vapor specific heat is 0.733 kJ per kilogram Kelvin. Determine refrigeration effect per kg, mass of the refrigerant to be circulated per minute, theoretical piston displacement per minute, theoretical power record to run the compressor in kilowatt, heat removed through the condenser per minute and uh, theoretical diameter of the diameter and stroke length of the compressor. The properties of the refrigerant is given in the table for 263 and 303. So, 2.19, 7.45 pressure and all the other properties, specific volume, enthalpy, entropy values are given with appropriate unit. So, the given data, Q, this capacity, cooling capacity is 2400 kilojoules per minute, stroke length L equal to 1.25 times of diameter, N equal to 1000 rpm, speed equal to 1000 rpm, CPL equal to 1.235 and CPV equal to 0 0.733 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. And this is the refrigeration cycle, temperature entropy diagram. 1 to 2 is the evaporator. So, 1 to 2 dash, it is, 2 dash is the saturation point and there is superheating. So, the superheating temperature is 7 degree. So, T1 equal to T2 dash equal to 263. And T2, 7 degree superheat, 263 plus 7 equal to 270 Kelvin. So, here the temperature is 270 Kelvin. T3 equal to T4 dash. This is temperature, condenser temperature is 303 Kelvin. And T4 is 6 degree subcooling. So, 303 minus 6 equal to T4 equal to 297 Kelvin. So, the unknown temperature is here, temperature 3 after superheat, after compression. So, after compression, what is the temperature of the refrigerant? That is the unknown. The specific enthalpy in the cycle, H2 dash equal to HG2 dash. It is saturated vapor line, which is from the table 183.2 kJ per kilogram. H3 dash equal to HG3 dash equal to 199.6 kJ per kilogram. H4 dash equal to HF4 dash equal to 64.6 kJ per kilogram. Now, temperature after compression. So, T3 we have to calculate. So, to calculate the T3, we use the expression isentropic compression, S2 equal to S3. Entropy remains constant for the compression process. So, S2, both are superheated vapor. S2 is superheated vapor, 3 is also superheated vapor. So, SG2 plus CPV into logarithmic of T2 by T2 dash equal to SG3 plus CPV into logarithmic of T3 by T3 dash. So, substituting numerical values for 2 before compression, 0 0.702 plus 0 0.733 in the logarithmic of 270 divided by 263 equal to after compression the properties are 0 0.6854 plus 0 0.733 in the logarithmic of T3 by 303. So, solving this equation T3 temperature after compression T3 equal to 318.2 Kelvin. Then specific enthalpy before compression H2 equal to H2 dash plus CPV into T2 minus T2 dash. Substituting numerical values 183.2 plus 0 0.733 into 270 minus 263 equal to 188.33 kJ per kilogram. Specific enthalpy after compression, H3 equal to H3 dash plus CPV into T3 minus T3 dash. So, H3 equal to 199.6 plus 0 0.733 into 318.2 minus 303 equal to 210.74 kJ per kilogram. Specific enthalpy after subcooling, H4, H1 equal to H4 equal to H4 dash minus CPL into T4 dash minus T4. Substitute numerical values 64.6 plus 
minus 1.235 into 303 minus 297 equal to 57.19 kilojoules per kilogram. So, the refrigeration effect H2 minus H1 equal to 188.33 minus 57.19 equal to 131.14 kilojoules per kilogram. So, the mass of the refrigerant M equal to Q by refrigeration effect. So, 2400 divided by 131.14 equal to 18.3 kilogram per minute or 0 0.305 kilogram per second. Then the power of the compressor P, yeah, P equal to M into enthalpy difference across the compressor M into H3 minus H2 substituting 0 0.305 into 210.74 minus 188.33 equal to 6.83 kilowatts. Heat removed in the plant in the condenser QR equal to M into H3 minus H4 which is 18.3 into 210.74 minus 57.19 equal to 2810 kilojoules per minute. Then theoretical piston displacement volume B equal to M into specific volume of the vapor at the compressor entry. So, this is V equal to 18.3 into 0 0.70767 which is 1.404 meter cube per minute. Then the sept volume per cylinder. So, theoretical dis piston displacement for the two cylinders divided by two per cylinder and divided by the speed 1000, 1000 rpm. So, 1.404 divided by 2 into 1000 equal to 7.02 in 10 power minus 4 meter cube. That is the swept volume per cylinder. Then the diameter and the stroke length. The swept volume equal to pi by 4 d square into L. So, pi by 4 d square into L equal to 1.2 times of 1.25 times of diameter. So, calculating 1 by pi by 4 into 1.25 into due to the power 3 equal to 7.02 in 10 power minus 4 meter cube. So, solving this equation. Diameter equal to 89 millimeter, 0 0.089 meter, which is 89 millimeter, and length equal to stroke length equal to 1.25 into 89 equal to 111.25 millimeter. So, the answer to the question the refrigeration effect equal to 131.14 kilojoules per kilogram, mass of the refrigerant equal to 18.3 kilograms per minute, theoretical piston displacement is 1.404 meter cube per minute, theoretical power record equal to 6.83 kilowatt. Heat removed in the condenser 2810 kilojoules per minute. Diameter and the stroke length of the compressor 89 millimeter and 111.25 millimeter. These are all the answers to the question. We stop here. Thank you for watching. Uh, we will meet again in another video lecture uh, for the solution of questions in the refrigeration air conditioning from the anonymous question paper. Until then, bye.